Hi everyone and welcome to Deeply Rooted episode number 196. I'm your host Robin Norgren and I am so, so pleased and honored to be here this morning. Uh, Got the candle lit and my coffee by my side and I know that it's a choice every day to stay deeply rooted in your life so that you can be part of a change that's going on in the world. And just like you, I um, see it at moments and then don't see it and then it pops up again and then seems to disappear. That thing that called, they call hope, they call encouragement, um, enthusiasm. So I just want to thank you that all of us can gather together as a community and um, celebrate the big wins and the big losses. Because even in the losses, there's something we gain when we share it with someone. All that to say, I'm so glad you're here. Here is an excerpt from my book that it will be releasing in 2023, title yet unknown, (laughs) but is a series of my art journal entries. Um, So here's today's entry. There's a picture of a desk in a room And it has books sitting on its desk and flowers on the desk as well. And the caption is, time to act on her plans. Edgar Allan Poe said, they who dream by day are cognizant of many things which escape those who dream only by night. Write down three dreams that you have right now. What do these dreams have in common? And how close are you to making any one of these dreams a reality? Choose the one that you're most drawn to today and create a map to accomplishing that dream, moving in one month increments. Today's imaginative prayer is inspired by Hannah from the Old Testament of the Bible, 1 Samuel 1, 1 through 28. You're sitting in the temple. It's quiet in here. And the light is just beginning to fade. The fragrance of sacrifices is strong. The air is thick with incense. It's peaceful, yet you don't feel any peace. Your heart is full of pain. That's why you're here. You've come to the temple to find God and beg for help. A woman enters the temple. She's staggering and nearly falls to her knees. She looks the way you feel. She sways back and forth a while, but eventually her body is still. 
She stays there so long you begin to think she's asleep. Except her mouth is moving. You wonder if she's mentally ill or drunk. You're not alone in your wondering. The priest of the temple walks over and accuses her of being drunk. The poor woman is crying inconsolably. No, she hasn't been drinking. She's very quiet. She's very upset. And she's been pouring her heart out, telling God her deepest pains, deepest desires. She's been laying her longings before God, begging God for mercy, begging God to hear her prayer and grant her request. The priest blesses her and she leaves. As she walks past, you notice a smile on her face. As her footfalls fade, the temple becomes silent once more. Out of this silence you hear, or perhaps you feel, a voice. It's God's voice. What are your deepest pains and deepest desires? Will you pour your heart out to me too? Will you lay your longings before me? And now it is silent again. Spend time telling God whatever's on your heart. Notice your body's response. Do you want to leave? Or do you want to stay in the moment? What is your reaction to God's questions? What feelings do they uncover and release within you? The woman left with a smile on her face. Perhaps she felt heard and that helped her to leave with a lighter heart. Do you feel heard by God? If so, how does that make you feel? And if not, how does that make you feel? Take these next few moments to sit in the silence or write or even create some art or consider going for a walk. Diary of a Creative Entrepreneur. Journal entries, February 23rd and February 24th. Had a severe rain day at work. Also have an interview today at 2 p.m. In the midst of it, decided to sign up for an Etsy shop revamp course and I turned off all the marketing that I pay for. At this point, it's $4 a day. And began going through the steps last night. We are at what, week four of eight of Artful Selling. And I created a landing page to collect emails and revamp my freebie offers. 
intro kit to art journaling, free owl sewing lessons, and I also offered a print of my leprechaun rabbit. I'm continuing to do my YouTube videos three a week. I need to get a schedule again for writing curriculum and doing the podcast. I left work yesterday feeling super, super depleted. I got the revised taxes and we owe $2,000. I don't know if even working at the preschool that I had the interview for will be fun because it's also a year round school. I just keep thinking, stay on track. This is all going somewhere. My cousins are coming to visit April 2nd. February 25th. Continuing to work on revamping all the details of my Etsy shop. Hit a snag with the internet when it wasn't saving my pictures to Google Drive or allowing me to forward them via email. So I started going through the 700 pages of ideas that I have found all over the internet for nature-based and 3D crafts. Josie had a crisis with a massive poetry assignment for Honors English. I had a meeting with the director and really was honest with how things are going in the outdoor environment. Specifically, the ideas I have for the space. It was a good talk, so for now I'm staying put. Also, a glitch in the way Mike set up his deductions is why we owe so much taxes. But it just means that we now don't have a down payment for a house. So we may be looking to sign the lease for another year and hope the rent increase is not too taxing. In the meantime, since I have no student loan payment for the year, I'm using that to pay off a credit card. And then we'll only have two. February 26th. I spent an incredible amount of my day working on authentically editing the descriptions and write and editing pictures for the original paintings. I even added a few of the paintings I did from the YouTube art lessons, the 12 by 18s. Josie found an amazing deal on canvases while we were at Ross looking for wrapping paper for her friend's 16th birthday. I put together a scavenger hunt idea that I'd been thinking about for a while to add to the outdoor classroom. And I finally just stopped what I was doing and forced myself to make Play-Doh. I modified the size of the cards for the process art exploration ideas I had for the classroom and intend to put them in a card file, perhaps laminate them on index cards, and then they can be easily stored in the outside outdoor environment cabinet. Well, thank you so much for coming by this little podcast and just being a part of this deeply rooted community. If you are looking for ways to support the work that I do and to support me for um, all the work that I do, I just wanted to share a few ways you can do that. Um, If you go to my Instagram account, um, if you're on Instagram under at uh, Robin Norgren, and you'll see a picture of me, um, there are lots of links that you can click on. Um, and I'll just share a couple with them of you with of them with you. Um, I have my art uh, for sale and also my art on products that you can take a look at. Deeply appreciate you supporting me in that way. 
Um, there's also my YouTube channel. You can go and like and subscribe and share there. I am currently at 400 subscribers. I need to get to 1,000 in order to start getting advertising. Um, I have a Patreon account where you can support me monthly, and there I offer videos and Zoom calls uh, with me um, on a, a monthly basis, and that is just a monthly um, uh, support uh, space. It's about the cost of a cup of coffee. <laughs> um, you can also support me on this podcast. Um, you can buy my art kits, my art uh, journal kits, or my sewing kits over on Etsy. And um, yeah, you can share the work that I do. I would so appreciate it. I've been doing this work now um, off and on for 15 years through the process of raising kids and supporting my husband um, who uh, just recently retired from the military and um, yeah it has been my honor it has um, healed me and supported me saved me on some levels being creative and being an artist and um, I have shared it for a lot of years and um, I just really hope that um, you support the artists that you know are helping to shine the light in the world. And I'm honored that you count me in that list. So thank you so much and see you back here soon.